Hey, what is up, you guys? Rack here, and today, look, I just found out about this game like quite literally yesterday. Been playing it. I've fallen in love. It's a Dragon Ball MOBA, super similar to Pokemon Unite, but this thing is like actually like crack. Like this game is like insanely fun to play. Uh, so this game is in beta right now. This game is not officially out. It is in beta until September 3rd. Apparently, it's been going on since August 20th, but it's kind of like flown under the radar somehow because I think it got overshadowed by Dragon Ball Sparking Zero because that is the big Dragon Ball game that is upcoming to where this kind of flew under the radar. This isn't going to be on your normal console. This is basically a mobile and PC game only. But with the way the game works, I can very easily see them potentially, and I would pretty much hope they do so, port this game over to consoles because it, it just looks like it's made for consoles. Like if it works on PC, 100% this game should be working on console. Maybe I'd have to make it like a separate version for mm -hmm. PC, console, and then mobile is its own thing. But I, I would hope they at least... You know, if you're not going to put it on Xbox, PlayStation, at least put it on Switch. Like, give the Switch players another bone. Why not? But this game is super fun. Um, Today's videos, we're basically doing a Goku build. This is just kind of like to show off the game and to show off Goku a little bit because each one of these characters are insanely unique. Uh, No two characters play alike outside of their archetype. Uh, What I will say their archetypes are, there's a DPS tank and what the game calls technician. Uh, Basically, technician is essentially just... um support but with a broader term so like just because the characters in technician uh doesn't mean they all heal that so not every character heals i think the only character we have that's like a solidified healer is majin buu with uh krillin and gohan essentially being like the uh support characters in terms of like they're gonna give you buffs so like gohan likes to buff your defense and attack uh krillin doesn't necessarily give you buffs krillin like will like mark a target and like don't, Krillin needs his own video. Krillin is kind of cracked in this game. I, I almost would put Krillin as like high key, one of the number one characters in this game so far. Like if he's not number one, he's top three at least. Um, but today's video is about Goku. Uh, Goku in this game, uh, there's a lot of different abilities you have in here. You have strike abilities, energy, strike resistance, energy resistance. Those stats matter, but they don't. Mostly what the uh, those are telling you is like what this character leans into. So Goku is a mix of everything, essentially. Uh, poster boy of the franchise, of course he will be. Um, pretty much, Goku does transform in this game. Now, you do not get every transformation in this game. I think they are going to go the Sparking Zero route. To where like, hey, here's Super Saiyan Goku. Here's Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, here's Super Saiyan God Goku. I, so forth, so on. I think that's 100% something they're going to do. Um, so you do transform. You have to reach level 7 to get that transformation. And when you do get... One of the, if you are a transforming character, you really, really need to focus on getting to level seven because that's where your big power spike comes in. Once you hit that level seven, you can go ahead and start thrashing people way more than you already are. Um, vi violent rage is pretty much self-explanatory. So like if somebody on your team gets defeated by somebody else, you target that person. And not only do you do increased damage, if they were like far away, you kind of discover them at that point of like, hey, they just killed my friend, like they killed Krillin. Time to go tee up on that boy. Uh, then you also have your rush attack for uh, DPS heroes. Their rush attack is infinite. It's just, it's not like, you know, the tanks, the tanks have like two bars before they kind of like, there's a pseudo infinite where it's like, it, it's a little weird to explain. Uh, tank is gonna have to have a video of its own because th there are, highly different from what your dps character is uh then you have kamehameha which is like duh goku's gonna have that move why would he not um it's a really good move you can use it as an engager or finisher uh, i use it as a finisher because um as you can see whenever you do kamehameha you basically throw out the blast but then you can throw kaioken on top of it which is also going to need an explanation on its own um both of these moves hammer jump and kamehameha do get the benefit of adding Kaioken after it. So like basically what you would do is like, let's say you use Kamehameha and you see right there where Goku, he's gonna change. Yeah, then he gets the red order around him. Kaioken, he, he does that. that. That's Goku's main stick. Um, Hammer Jump is basically an AOE strike attack, which it's it's super, super duper useful. So like, um, so when you add Kaioken on Kamehameha, it, it gets bigger. Uh, attacks for longer, has an extended hit box, and you know, it decreases people's movement speed. Uh, hammer jump is nothing more than just like an AOE attack of like, hey, I'm gonna jump to this location and do an attack. That, that That's what that move is. 
um if you add kaioken to it it applies a stagger at the very end so you'll see him do it right here in this little yeah you'll get that stagger right there and then you're in kaioken state just for a little bit and uh you get that uh kaioken itself pretty much how it works in every other game it's super short they don't let it last very long it's like hey you get that burst and then it's that's it it's almost like um how uh goku performs kaioken in the show when uh he's basically like flipping into it and out of it like during super saiyan blue i want to say that was like during the tournament of power arc where he's just like flipping into it then out of it into it out of it and you know you do have a side effect you know you get uh strike defense down but not too many characters are going to be like doing strike damage to you you'll know who's going to do strike damage in the game once you play it more and you'll know who's doing what um spirit bomb is basically a nuke i, I shit you not th this game is the just a straight up nuke um you're gonna see in the gameplay that you pretty much can pull up to a fight especially if you have your move levels up which is what that little symbol is down there you uh each move has like three levels so there starts out at one two then three um you don't get to make a move level three until you hit level eight until you hit level eight each one of your moves are capped out at level two so you, you do have to spend your moves uh spend points to get into these moves as you level up but you can kind of select whichever one you want for your personal play style and how you prefer to play the character how you want i just think going hammer jump into kamehameha is the way to go because it's just too good um then there's also another system that we have to explain down here which we're going to go to which is the divine card uh combos so basically each one of these cards are like little pseudo buffs your character can get sort of like an item shop kind of you do get them in game it's more so these aren't like hey you need to level this up or like hey you need to go farm to buy this no it's just it's just you straight up level up you'll get the cards you'll notice in a little corner where it says get your cards and you can select whichever one you want so you have uh the tier one cards your second card and your third card they're all stronger as you go up so like obviously level one card won't be as strong as a level two card and a level two card won't be as strong as a level three card but specifically if you're playing goku um potentially what i'm going to tell you to do at least for this build video um you're going to go super snowball the reason you're going to do that is because anytime you ko or get an assist on somebody you get an attack buff and you can raise this up to like 10 times so if you're somebody that's like really good at the game you're snowballing hard getting kills self-explanatory it's in the name get this card because you're gonna be doing a lot of damage um you can this is where it's like slightly depending on how you're going to do things you can either get prepared or die or you can get giant slayer prepared or die you're going to deal more damage when they're under 50 percent health so if you're fighting against like a tank or somebody and they're like really strong and you're like trying to etch it out you're going to get that little buff because they're under 50 percent health and you're going to actually start thrashing them um giant slayer is basically 80 percent or more health you'll do like a big chunk of their health in the beginning rather than later um this one i'm 100 gonna tell you don't get pursuer for your card um your dps you're gonna want berserker because berserker characters especially on rush characters like a dps rush is basically your basic auto attack and uh you're gonna want berserker because with the dps characters like i said they infinitely just keep attacking there is no like little cooldown they have on it like how the tanks do i don't know if the technical characters have it i haven't really played a technical character yet but i so I, we'll see how that goes i just know krillin's cracked every krillin i've had on my team is putting up like crazy numbers doing crazy assists or if i'm on a team going against the krillin krillin's just actively one of the top dogs on their team just running shit but you're gonna want berserker because you can it, it stacks your boost rush damage you can basically auto attack it's your auto attack card all these other cards really you, you can pick any card by the way so it's not just all red cards only go to dps no you can pick whatever card you want mix and match how you want the ones i specifically picked out for you are just really really good on goku now if you are let's say somebody like trunks or android 18 you can go ahead and get build up which will stack up your defense allowing you to stay in a fight a little bit more or let's say you don't want these two abilities you can go ahead and get a uh, steel skin to where like if you take an attack it's reduced damage so it's basically however you feel if you want to stay in a fight a little bit more and just kind of have more of a presence yeah go ahead and get the green uh if you want to like attack people more go ahead and like you know get red stuff blue is where it's like a little bit more nuanced where it's like hey this is more support and more like hey cool down stuff uh then when you get down here 
you have your card combos essentially what that is is that you can go through once you get all three of your cards you get a card bonus so on top of the cards that you get in their buffs once you finally get all three which is basically like hey you've been doing a really good job you got all three of your cards here's a bonus um you get like buffs down here so like since we are basically picking all three red we would get overwhelming power which is a large boost to all of our attacks now the one i normally have to get because i've been playing a little bit of android 18 in trunks uh we get build up and i normally go prepare to die and then i get berserker so we would get extreme battle which gradually boosts all of our attacks during a battle against enemy heroes so like basically this is the one i get whenever i'm playing tank too um if i don't want the damage like that i'll swap out a red card here for steel skin just like a flat reduction in which vegeta is going to get his own video uh vegeta and zamasu are two of the best tanks i haven't got to have my hands on cooler yet but i've seen people play them cooler is a absolute nightmare to run against so without further ado we're done explaining things we're gonna go ahead and hop into a match and you guys are gonna get to see how crazy this game gets i'm really upset that people aren't playing this game more they're looking at it like oh my god this is a moba but like yo this is this is a moba this is a fun ass dragon ball game so i'll see you guys in the rest of the video all right so we're at character selection essentially another thing i want to point out to you too is this um whenever you play this game you have your master skills and you have your acquired cards what you're going to want to do is take those off of auto because if you have them on auto the game's going to select these abilities and stuff for you you're not going to have the choice to do anything so 100 set those to manual and just when you're in a match you're going to have to remember to select that for yourself because if you don't the game is just pretty much gonna hey i'm picking whatever it's kind of gonna pseudo put you into a pigeonhole of what it thinks you need but uh sorry i'm late game don't always know best oh we're actually wearing all black on the team that was not sorry, planned by the way these are randoms i do not know them yeah so they have a pretty decent team so like basically everybody on their team uh as you can see their two dps was goku and android 18. android 18 is really good uh has a lot of high burst damage so she's somebody you kind of got to be concerned about because if you let her get going crazy she can and will turn a game in her favor real quick like and it's not even the fact that like she's just like uh she's just certainly strong because she is don't get me wrong she is certainly strong but it also gets balanced out due to the fact that she is a super glass cannon like android 18 can and will die on the spot and there's nothing you can do about it We're gonna wait in the bush real quick. Boom! All right, we're gonna go ahead and start fighting them. Yeah, you will see that sometimes you do need to try to pick and choose your targets because uh, Gohan himself is uh, really strong when he's uh, partnered up with somebody. We're gonna go ahead and try to take Shin. Shin is also somebody you need to start prioritizing sometimes because um, go ahead and take Shin from him. Yeah, you want to prioritize that because he will let you get your levels faster. Like, if they have that little sparkle by their name, go ahead and fight them. Make them a priority to fight because they're going to give you more experience so you can level up faster. So, if you see, like, your teammate fighting somebody with sparkles around their name, they're probably going to want to jump in that because y'all could use the experience. Yeah, we're, as you can see, we're putting a big time hurt on them. I could go back in there, but let's not get too greedy. Our main objective is leveling up right now. We're going to go ahead and level up Hammer Fist because Hammer Fist is actually the better one to use right now. We'll level up Kamehameha later. Simply due to the fact that, uh, oh, I'm hurt. Yeah, I'm going to die here. Yeah. So you can't, that, that will happen if you get too greedy. Um, in order to attack the towers as well, you see that little Zeno icon up there? Yeah, Zeno has to be right there hitting the God of Destruction in order for you to get your damage off. Uh, if you don't and Zeno's not there, all that's going to happen is the God of Destruction is going to start blasting at you and you're pretty much going to die. So pretty much traditional MOBA rules. But as you can see, like we're doing really well for our lane so far. It's just that these characters are really strong starting out in that you know some characters have a better start than others do and it's almost nothing you can really do about it 
I, well, I say almost nothing you can do about it. Just some characters have a better start than others. And that's pretty much it. Like right now, my main objective is like straight up to get to level seven. Like right there, Gohan's gone. Yeah, I got got too. So there's nothing I can do on that point. But yeah, as you can see, like the better you do, the more you're pretty much just just gone. Like you're gone for a little bit. So like if you're having a point to where you're doing really good and you're like just doing really well, you have a longer cooldown. So like I say cooldown. You have a longer wait timer of like respawning. So yeah, I'm ready to transform it. As you can see, boom. You do get a nice transformation uh, animation. But as you can see, that little thing beside my health bar, yeah, that's another health bar on top of the one I already have. So, like characters do get stronger. But, like right now, we're gonna go ahead and start throwing them with these boys. Specifically Android 18, because as you can see, I need to chase her down real quick. Yeah, Gohan, like, as you can see, he had more health than 18, so I decided to make Gohan my target. And that, boom. A little special animation for killing Gohan. And yeah, as you can see, 18 got me again. Uh, all, she also got me due to the fact that I was trying to upgrade my abilities. Another thing you're going to want to do, don't do those in the middle of a fight. Um, It can and will get you killed. Not due to the fact that you can't fight back. But due to the fact that you're splitting your focus, looking down and not paying attention to what the character's doing. So uh, we also got another card. So we're going to go ahead and get that real quick while we have the opportunity. And we're also going to farm up a little bit. Yeah, also be careful with how you uh, land some of these attacks because you can mess that up. And I'm going to go ahead and get Hammer Fist first because as soon as you get Hammer Fist level three, big AOE, big, the big AOE damage. And the next one you're going to want to level up is a Kamehameha's. You can, now that you got three abilities leveled up, you really, you're going to see how strong Goku can get. Because Goku can get absurdly strong if you want to. As you can see, like that Kamehameha almost took up majority of the screen. And also, if you are trying to run away, you can get caught. And yeah, level one spirit bomb isn't that crazy. It, it's a decent little ability. Nothing like insanity to where it's like, oh my God, he's he's spirit bombing us. That's not until later levels. We're gonna try to get 18. Uh, we couldn't, it's fine though. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and get Berserker and now we're all fully maxed out. We got our abilities, we got our cards. Yeah, we just killed Gohan. I was hoping we'd get 18 in that, but we aren't going to. But now, as you can see, we're just running. We are running Beerus' pockets right now, and it's not even funny. So now that I got those two abilities leveled up, boom, we're just going to go ahead and get into that. We're going to go ahead and take that out. And also, you're gonna see that little icon on the map where it makes an exclamation point. Yeah, you want these guys. You wanna actually be fighting these guys as soon as you can, as much as you can. If you can steal it from an opponent, do that. Because what it does, it helps you defeat somebody's god of destruction way faster than what you normally would. Yeah, because as you can see, he wanted to pull up and take that immediately. We didn't give him the opportunity because we're so strong. Yeah, once it hits late game, you also have a super objective, which is basically this game's Rayquaza. Uh, to where if you lose that objective, believe it or not, you, you almost can find yourself to losing the game. So I'm going to wait a second. Because they're in there deep. I'm going to blast this coming on me, huh? Yeah, we lost grade eight because uh, I don't think everybody was there yet. And I also got jumped.
But yeah, I, I got jumped there. So th this is one of those situations of like, if you don't get the great ape, you see both Zenos up there, they're attacking all of our gods' destructions. So this is potentially about to be a loss. This is bad. Yeah, this is potentially about to be a big, big loss. And plus it didn't help that I did not have Spirit Bomb in time. Yeah, they're going through that. Here's that tactical nuke I was talking about. You just get to launch it. And like, believe it or not, majority of them are dead. So now what we have to do, we have to play like a super hard game of like keeping them away from our objective. Yeah, like we took care of Zamasu, but like we have to make sure nobody cracks this. Because hopefully we got to hope that these two don't break our glass. Because if they do, yeah, yeah, we lost. Because now all somebody has to do is just run up. They're taking our Dragon Ball and that's game over. Yeah, just like that. So, like we it, won it, this, one. this game is high it, it's fun but team fights are a big must because as you can see like we were beating the majority of the game but we lost that one team fight we lost the important one so, like all the other team fights you'll potentially get into in this game they are important but they aren't important if that makes sense like they're not as important as what the great ape team fight is so if you're not there for the great ape team fight you're throwing for your team so like you see i only got five kills i could have gotten more if i wasn't so focused on like talking and explaining things through because last game i played i got like a 16 kill game went actually crazy um if i probably focus on like killing some people more than others like fighting android 18 rather than gohan like you know little small mistakes like i'm not saying i'm a perfect player at this game already but this is things like You'll pick up on it as you go like our trunks probably could have did more that boy zero and four he got zero kills as dps uh he basically got less than half of what i got for damage like he yeah i think yeah he, he okay he didn't perform the least damage on the team that was actually boo but boo support so it's like you and support are neck and neck for damage i don't know what you were doing the whole time but yeah that that's pretty much Dragon Ball Project Multi, whenever this game fully drops, I think it's going to be a really good game. Um, people are just going to have to be willing to give it a shot. I know the stigma around MOBAs and people are like, Ooh, I don't want to play a MOBA, but it's like once you play this one and you understand what's supposed to be happening, it it's just a fun game overall. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're going to be making more of these before the beta ends. I can't guarantee that I'm going to get to everybody in time. I cannot guarantee you that because like I see like you seen earlier, um, I still don't have Piccolo unlocked. I don't have Gohan unlocked. I don't have Cooler unlocked. And unlocking some of these characters in this game so far has been a slog. And I'm doing the best I can to actually grind out and get these characters. But some of them are just going to take way longer than others. In another video, I'll explain that. But hope you guys do enjoy this one. Peace out. Look forward to the next one.